It's a new year and a new you. The new year is a great time to make changes to your lifestyle, but it's important that we set realistic goals for ourselves. So this morning we're joined by Dr. Brian Curtis to give us a little insight on how we can succeed at the goals we set for ourselves. Good morning. Hey, good morning. Thanks for being here. Thank you. So start to start off, what kind of things should we keep in mind when making our resolutions? Yeah, really the, the biggest one is only about 8% of people become successful in maintaining the resolution. So not a great number, but a lot of it has to do is really making it personal to yourself. You know, making it something that you actually want to do, not something that somebody else wants you to do. Mm. And, and so that's the biggest thing is just really kind of aligning it to what your goals and priorities are. Well, so going off of that, as you said, only 8% are achieving those goals. So how can we prepare to implement those new changes into our lifestyle? Yeah, one's going to be to have a plan and, and, and so to lay it out. So you're saying, well, I want to get into shape. Well, that's not really a good goal. <laughs> I mean, that's very broad. And, and so really developing a plan of what you're going to do, how are you going to do it, and then make sure you have the tools to do it. So if you're going to get into shape and you don't have any plan of what you're going to do within that, you know, buy a pair of shoes, start walking, stuff like that. Well, so obviously January is a big one when it comes to like working out and staying healthy and everything. But once those few weeks pass, those resolutions fall off. So what can we do to make sure we are actually sticking with them? Yeah, and so talk about it, right? So you, you tell me that what you want to do. So the next time I see you, I say, well, how's that going? Mm. And, and so really to kind of pull people in with you or even get a buddy to do it with you. Uh, those are the two big things. And, and the other piece is, is you're going to fall off. Right, you're you're gonna ha you're gonna lapse. You're not gonna do something, and and that's where people fail because mm -hmm. they they don't expect or plan for that moment in time, and and so really, okay, I had a lapse. Now I'm gonna get back into it. Okay, I like that. Well, how long does it take for those resolutions, or I guess hopefully habits becoming habits? How long does it take for them to stick? Yeah, so only about 21 days for a habit. Okay. So if you do something every day for about 21 days, it is now a habit. Now, if you do it for six months, it actually you actually incorporate that into your personality, mm. so it actually becomes part of you. So, 21 days is not a very long time to, to get really something ingrained into your daily life. When it comes to working out, it feels like a really long time. <laughs> it feels like a really long time. Yeah, uh, it feels like six months. <laughs> yeah, it feels, it feels like a long time. But what are some resolutions that you know people who are trying to get healthier, maybe work out, cut back on sugar? Um, what are some of the easier ways to start implementing those resolutions? Yeah, it really starts small. Right, and so start small. So if I want to get back into shape, you know, I'm not going to be able to walk 10 miles today. Right. So I say I'm going to go walk around the block this week, and next week I want to walk around twice, and and then just just kind of have it a stepwise uh, moment. And so you and I were talking. You know, my resolution is to ease back into running because what I would always do is just go from zero to 50. Mm. You know, and and that was my problem, and so I kept re-injuring myself. So now I set a goal. I started small. And I've been working my way back up through it. Yeah, yeah, I think that's the way to do it. Because last year I read 24 books, my 24, 25, and this year I was like, I want to read 30 more than last year, yeah. but still something doable. I'm almost there. We'll make yeah. it. We'll yeah. make it. But... And, and and again, that's meaningful to you. Something, mm -hmm. and so that really kind of drove you to that. Exactly. Well, thank you so much for being here. Yes, happy New Year. Yes, happy New Year. It's insane. The year's gone by so quickly. I know it's a very quick one. But as always, we'll make sure to share all of these details up on our website. That's ciproud.com.